you know members in your household or friends and, or even yourself. Emotional healing is very, very hard. This is a very strong one. And what you do is you just take the template on, put, it, put their hair sample on the side, put the template on the machine, and use your large crystal. Here's a crystal. Here's a crystal. Put the yellow. See, you have numbers there, so just put the yellow, the white and the gold and the silver you don't have to put on. Everything else is done, and you be see a big difference in how they feel. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Happy feeling. Everybody has a spark of God in them, or is it everybody has a spark of God in them? Not everybody does. But those whose embers are very, very small will be sent to you. Those happy feelings will bring that up. I have a lot of encodings in there to raise their spiritual vibrations and to light the spark of God again and them again. You don't have to tell them. That's why I have a happy feeling. They don't need to know what, what you're doing as long as they feel better and get them on the road again. Healing Devi, page 59. Laying of the hands, working on people. They get well temporarily and then they're back to where they were before. You have a healing Devi. You have to wake it up. You woke it. You stirred it but you didn't keep it awake. Everybody has their own healing Devi. But you've got to wake it up. You've got to keep it awake. And this is what it does, okay? That has to be done sometimes a little more. Hexes and spells removed. There's certain groups that use hexes all the time. And what they don't know is they really do work. If you're working, remember, you never have to see people to do this work. Never. Everything is done long distance. They just send it, a hair sample to them or a photograph, recent photograph. Everything is long distance. You never have to see anyone. There is no reason to. There's no reason to have clients coming to you. This is, I do not do medical. Many times medical disappears because it was not their illness in the first place. You never have to see anyone. No one has to be present when you are doing your machine. If you find that in the mail you've received some that more Hispanic or Cubans or whatever, where they do use these spells, you must check for their hex. If they have some hexes, put this template on. This is so common with them. And they have not learned their lesson. Um, these are ways of old that they're using, and they're no longer going to be tolerated. Okay, let's turn to let's go to the chakras. We're going to go backwards now. The chakras, how many are, raise your hand, how many are familiar with the chakras? Okay. We have an eighth one right here, new eighth one right here. If you've been, uh, those who drink juices and fruits and watch your diet very carefully, carefully and you're wondering why you're getting sick to your stomach or nauseated, this is starting to spin now. It's a large chakra right here, it's an eighth chakra. And it's starting to spin. And this chakra has a lot to do with bringing your remembrance back of your past lifetime. And it's bringing you into the future of remembrance, the ray of remembrance. And when this starts spinning, it does make you sick to your stomach. So don't think that you are just not eating proper food. It's because, turn to page 50. We have, we have five smaller ones, smaller ones above the head. Now, and these are cosmic chakras. They're very small. One looks like a little football, a gold football. One looks like a little pearl. One looks like a little blue, uh, little blue circle. But they're extremely powerful. And when they start getting activated, 
uh, you can ha be in two dimensions at one time, if not more. So they're very powerful. Um, I used to do one chakra at a time, and I was told to make the template. You have 21 chakras in this template, the smaller ones. You have eight large ones, and you have the five over your head. When you do the chakras, you just put the template on. You put the green filter on it. And if you can, in the back of the book, it tells you where to get the lavender quartz. Lavender quartz aligns the chakras. So what you're doing, you're clearing the chakras. You're aligning the chakras. When you're done, when it says they are cleared and aligned, then you take off the green and you take off the um, crystal, the lavender crystal, and you put all you put orange and yellow and red for to energize the chakras. So now you have cleared, aligned, and energized. And it goes in more detail about it. Okay. You don't ever do this until you make sure you've cleared cleared their aura now. If the person has rips and tears in their aura, including you, but you have nobody in there, just seal it. Nine zero 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 four five. There's nothing else to do. You have nobody in there, but it needs to be sealed. Those who go out and talk or in large groups a lot or you a lot of stress from a job, check your aura a lot. Many times you will need it to be sealed because we have people that steal your energy from you because they can't make, generate their own and they go they gravitate towards spiritual people especially people in more new age groups you see them hugging a lot what they're doing sometimes is stealing your energy so or, or if you go somewhere and you get real tired the person behind you stole your energy okay Let's turn to page 51. DNA, RNA, massive release of ancient genetic memories. For the person that you are not allowed to seal, that will be passing on, use this as a, a gift to them. And what this does, it takes away the genetic memories that they no longer have to experience different things in life. They no longer have to learn to, to do a certain this or a certain that.